Hello there. I'm Brad Loomis, professional natural bodybuilder and master powerlifter. I'm a contest prep coach for powerlifters and cosmetic athletes with 3D Muscle Journey. I'm also sponsored by AST Sports Science and proud to represent their brand. However, that's not all that I am. I'm also a devoted family man, a CAT scan tech, and a devout Catholic. A life like mine is not at all glamorous, at least not as some would lead you to believe. Don't get me wrong, there are some high points, but it's mostly just a lot of hard work. And it's quite boring, especially for a guy like me, with below average genetics for bodybuilding and only putting up average to maybe above average numbers in powerlifting. However, that didn't really matter to me. I love my life as a family man, and I love my life as a coach. However, I really love to train. I don't train to compete. I compete on occasion because I love to train. And this is my grind. Hey 3 dm Jairs. So this week I thought what might be a good topic uh, is how uh, I incorporate practicing the competition lifts uh, to uh, meet competition standards. Uh, just like in, in football, you know, you, you want to practice your skills, obviously, and you want to work on your strength and your conditioning, but a good portion of your practice had better be in actually practicing the plays uh, that you're going to run, um, you know, in football. So you better probably incorporate a good portion of your training doing the lifts uh, like you would do them in a powerlifting meet if you intend on doing powerlifting, you know, in the not too distant future. Um, so here's how I kind of incorporate that into my training, as you all know, uh, Eric does my uh, my programming, uh, and, and as part of uh, our programming, we have three days that we do, um, you know, squatting and benching. Actually, we're doing three days squat, four days bench, uh, two days deadlift, uh, and you know, just like most undulating periodizations, you have a heavy day, uh, a medium day, and then uh, a lighter day. Heavy being power, medium strength, and then light being hypertrophy. Um, in this particular case, our medium days, at the end of this mesocycle, we are doing singles for our medium work. And so these last three weeks, these last three microcycles, lots of singles with kind of a, a medium weight, okay? Uh, and then as we go to the, to the, the squat, uh, you can kind of see here that the last two weeks we have lots of singles with medium weight. So when I do those particular uh, lifts for my programming, I do them right to uh, specifications of a powerlifting meet. Um, here's the squat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, uh, walk it out, lock everything out, and then wait for the start command in my head. Uh, I'm obviously going to descend to um, meet depth, which is the hip, the crease uh, of the hip joint uh, going parallel to or just below the knee. And then obviously when I stop at the top, I'm going to lock out, wait for the rack command. Uh, and then same thing with the bench press. I'm going to Unrack. Uh, I'm going to lock out, and I'm going to wait for the start command in my head. Uh, I'm going to descend. I'm going to pause on my chest, uh, and then I'm going to uh, press it, and I'm going to pause at the top and wait for the rack command, just like in powerlifting. So that's how I incorporate the competition lifts and practicing uh, the lifts to uh, specifications uh, in my training. And, um, Hope that helps you all out, any of you who might be doing powerlifting in the future. Bit of a shorter vlog this week. Hope you enjoyed it.